Now, Darren Stewart. Hey, buddy, first of all, congratulations on a beautiful performance. And I know you came into fight week with a heavy heart. How was it dealing with all the emotions coming into this fight? Uh, it was a lot, man. I mean, I took the fight at three-week notice. When I got the fight, I was 99 kg. But I took the fight not because I wanted to fight, but most importantly for my friend, as you can see on my top. Um, he got um, murdered by his brother on his 30th birthday. So I done all the crying, and I thought, you know what? I'm just angry now. And uh, it's either I fight the legal way or I end up hurting someone. That's part of why I took the fight as well. So it wasn't easy. Well, again, I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. And uh, I'm glad that you chose this path to get that out of yourself. And speaking of which, that was a fantastic performance, man. A beautiful guillotine choke. I want you to take a look at your handiwork here and talk us through this transition and how you secured this. Well, I've been doing that um, takedown defense a lot. Um, with a team of um, shoot fighters and also by the guillotine, I've been working a lot with my um, BJ Jacobs, Michael Russell. Um, I didn't have no, like, he wasn't my guard, had no hooks and nothing. And I thought, you know what, just go for it. Rank up a bit more and just wait for it, just wait for it. Like my coach, Michael Russell, said, just put it on. You know, you might not feel nothing doing it, but eventually they'll tap out. So I just went with it. And that's what my coach, Michael Russell, said to me. Yeah, beautiful adjustments in there. And I heard some rumors that you might be wanting to stay in Vegas and look for another fight. What's going on? You know what? <laughs> that was a madness. I was talking a lot of, you know, I'm not, not, not F it. I would, I would, I would. If it's there, of course I would. I mean, I'm good to go. Um, but I didn't know how, it depends how much time they give me. I mean, three weeks in this heat, you think, yeah, it's easy, easy. But then you've got Charles, love you, Charles, nutritionist, cutting your water in, taking this heat. It's, it's, it's a bit mad. I'm telling you, it's mad, it's mad. But you know what? Um, if there's a fight there, two, three weeks, I mean, my coaches can't stay. They can fly away. I'll chill back in the sun bring them back out again, you know what I mean? If not, I want to go back work out for my family because it's been, it's been a hard year, you know, like the whole year. Oh, man, COVID, killing everyone, my, my friend dying. I was with, oh, yes, yeah, so it's been a mad year, so, yeah, sorry, sorry. Well, hey, listen, Darren Stewart, keep your head up, man. That was a fantastic performance. Whether you stay in Vegas or go home and see your family, I can't wait to see you in the octagon. And I'm still soon. looking like a snack. Come on. <laughs> still looking like a looking snack. Looking good, Come brother. On. Come on, bro. Come <laughs> Take on. care, man. Congratulations Love again, you. buddy. Thank you. Yeah, he was proud of his fitness all, all fight week. Said he's looking like a snack. 99 kilograms, he mentioned, when he took the fight. That's near 218 pounds, but like a professional, gets it done.